so I saw this hat on Pinterest and it was really cute it reminded me of Kai and I was like I want it maybe I should make it but then I was like wait he looks like the doll that Bakyon made what's his name? Teolagi is that how you say it? what if I made that instead of this one? and then I was like no that's too much I don't want to bother and then Kai posted a story with a crocheted bucket hat and I was like okay I'm making it okay so I bought the colors I'm gonna follow this bucket hat that I have I have to make something like this I don't even know how to make a bucket hat but I'm gonna freestyle because if Lei can freestyle why can't I? am I is Lei better than me? don't answer that you're gonna hurt my feelings so obviously the top is just a round thing so I'm gonna crochet the brown thing first before we start this video i want to explain that this video is gonna be just a fun video but for people that actually want to follow the tutorial i'm gonna leave little explanations that you can follow if you actually want to do the hat with me so yeah if you actually want to make it just follow the tutorials in the little corner if not just watch the video okay so i don't want to have a hole at the top so i'm gonna make a really small circle here Okay, so there's no hole, that's good. Four. Now, I just have to put enough in for a circle. As you can see, I'm using very professional crocheting terms here. I'm just gonna put enough in for this. <laughs> Anyways. Also, how do you wear crochet bucket hats when it's so hot outside? Is that like, doesn't your head get hot or something? Someone ask Kai that and get back to me, please. Okay, nice. So now I'm gonna go on and make a lot of those and just do the same thing I just did. Maybe I'll do two in one hole. Wow, those terms are really professional. You're welcome if you're gonna follow this tutorial. Okay, this is what it looks like. There are three rows so far, so I have to make a bunch of more rows, because look. Yeah, it's really small. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going and make more. Okay, the first one is just four of those. And then I go... And then I do a cut and you're not gonna know. Okay, I did a cut, but I feel like you still can tell that I did a cut because I announced it beforehand. For the next row, I'm gonna do only one in one hole because it starts to become roughly and I don't need it roughly. I need it just like a round thingy. So I'm gonna make only one in one hole. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I'm gonna keep going. Do I even want it to be this big at the top? I feel like this is too big. I feel like in the picture it's a little smaller. Maybe I'll make it a little bit smaller. Can we talk about how Kai popularized bucket hats? Because I only own one bucket hat and I bought it because Kai looked good in bucket hats and I thought I would look good too. Well, I was a little wrong. But we can't all be Kai, right? Glad we established that. I got hungry everyone, okay what can I say? So I cooked one of my favorite foods, which is just chopping a bunch of vegetables, frying them on the pan, adding tomato paste, beans, sour cream, any spices you like, and then just eating it, yeah that's it. Gordon Ramsay, I don't really care about your opinion, can so please rate my food? Am I making a Teolagi bucket hat because I didn't get to buy a Teolagi doll even though I really wanted it to and I'm still sad about it? Maybe. But we don't live in a fairy tale. Also, there's a war in my country. Okay, so this is gonna be the top. Now my goal is to crochet this downwards. To do that, I have to do less, less of these. I have to do less hooks or how do you call those? Okay, so this is what we have. It looks like a plate. This is me asking you for money for Bayraktar for the Ukrainian Armed Forces. So I think now the thing I need to do is just keep going downwards. I think to do that I need to just keep just going one on one. So that's what I'm gonna do. We'll see if I'm right or if I'm gonna not be right. Don't worry y'all, someone is just trying to kill me. So I did two rows of just 
one in one then i'm gonna do like half of the row and then i'm gonna add start adding the white because we're trying to make tail like he and he has white fur too and i'm i'm not gonna do it right away because this is where my start and end is and there are like disproportionate holes there so i'm gonna do it over here so that the holes are in the back and not visible okay so i did half and now i'm gonna add the white and i'm gonna follow the same pattern i used for this row which is one in one another one in one and then two in one okay so this is gonna be our first white color in the in the hat and i'm gonna take back my regular thread and do the row and do the rest of the row in this color okay so yeah i'm gonna be back okay i finished the row and this is what it looks like okay so this row i'm gonna do just regular one and one until we get to the white part and we'll continue the white part okay so i reached the white part and for this row i'm gonna do two more so i'm gonna start white from here and do one two and then the rest and then two in this part two, so that it keeps that triangular shape that Tolagi has. Hi everyone. I did a couple more, more rows. Amazing. Okay, so I think we have enough hat. Now we can work on the borders. So it's the next day and now I have to make the borders. Which, as far as I know, to make the borders you just have to add more, more of these hooks than it had in this row. So that's what I'm gonna do for this row. You can see it's, it goes a little outwards and if, I think if it's longer it's gonna look like how a bucket hat border should look like so I'm gonna keep doing one in one. I'm gonna do a couple more rows until I'm satisfied with the length and I'll be back with the hat. Everyone, it's a hat. It's a hat. Now I have to make the ears so I'm gonna crochet two sides of the ears so the back is gonna be and this color and the front is gonna be this plus the white we'll see how that goes so his ears are kind of round i'm gonna start with the white one in the middle also his ears are kind of big too i don't know how that's gonna work is it working or not i think it's working and then i'm just gonna continue like this Okay, this is how much I made. So as you see, I was crocheting like this and I'm gonna put it inversed. Kinda looks like Telagi's ears. Also, so I'm gonna make a round, this color around it. So it's gonna be a little bigger, but I'm not sure if it's big enough. So I'm just taking this, going through the white hoop and just starting my regular thing as I always do. And I'm just gonna go around this. I'm gonna go two in one of these, so it's full enough. This is what it ends up looking like, so I'm gonna do it around. So I'm gonna make the second one like this, and I'll be back. Okay, so I made two and I made the back for one of them. This is the back, it's the same size. I'm gonna crochet them together. I'm going through one hoop and through the hoop of the other part. I'm grabbing this through both hoops and through the through its own and this is what it looks like. So there's gonna be empty space inside and I have a bunch of like whenever I cut the thread there's a piece left so I'm gonna put a little of those inside so they like become a little full that's what I'm gonna do for both and this is how it ends up looking like okay so this is what they look like now I have to put them on the head so tell like his ears go kind of straight up they don't go like to the sides okay go through so we know where to start I'm gonna use this to red I'm gonna tie this one to this one so I tied that inside now. I'm gonna grab like that through this, then grab, grab this and go through. Okay, 
grab another one through this grab the thread and go through this is what it looks like and i'm gonna keep doing that okay this is the first one okay this is what it looks like right now they do stay up because i did because i did the stitching from the back too this is what it looks like from the back and from the front and now now for its eyes and mouth like the most important thing so for the mouth and the eyes and everything i don't have like this woolen thread for crocheting in the in a black color so i'm gonna use just like a th regular thread but it's like a little bit thicker than regular thread and i put it double so it's more thick this way i'm gonna tie it at the back okay so we have to start somewhere over here okay i'm gonna go once just to fix fixate it in the back went through so it stays start somewhere over here So I did the line and now I'm gonna go a little go like this and I'm gonna fix them in place and I'm gonna go like this to keep them in place okay bird mark now that's the most important thing in the like Okay, okay, now the eyes. The last thing is his eyes. Okay, I'm done and it's so cute. <laughs> His face looks like the face. What is this? <laughs> How cute is that? <laughs> How cute is that? It's a Teologi hat. <laughs> Watch me pronounce Teologi wrong for this entire video. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. How? <laughs> <laughs> I put it like this because I could go like this, but I like it more like this. <laughs> What is this? Okay, now the most important question. Would Bakyon or Kai wear this bucket hat? <laughs> and why isn't Bakyon selling them yet? Totally the bucket hats? Bakyon, hit me up. I have a bunch of business ideas for you. Stop it, Sonny. It looks like him. Like this. I can't. I cannot. So yeah, this is the video. We made a hat. So now if someone ever asks me why were you doing while your country was at war, I'm gonna be like, I made a Tolagi hat. Great. Oh, by the way, I made them. My camera was dead, so it was charging, so I didn't film this part, but I changed them to more round. They were too triangular. I made some pictures to show you how exactly I did it. I just used a needle and a thread like this and yeah that's it that's the video thank you for watching it and i'll see you in my next video if i don't die someone tell russia to leave us alone please <laughs>